Hi Leo, welcome to the message you need to hear. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Thank you for showing up. Alright, Leo. Oh boy, there's a cat. Okay. Eight of Wands. Alright, so this is unexpected events. Communication could be travel. Um, okay. Perhaps you're feeling cut off and set adrift and you're on this uh, new beginning right now. There's some heartache involved in this situation. Uh, could be oh, very potentially over a third party situation. Could involve a Gemini, doesn't have to. Doesn't have to be male either. This is somebody that could have cut things off. Um, could be having an online affair. You feel set adrift. Or there's the issue of what do we do now with all this information? Now we have to make some decisions. We've got an affair quite possibly. We've got deception, betrayal, strategic communication, seven of swords, page of cups, two of cups. Can you see that? Yes, you can. The hermit, strength, and six of cups. What did I say? I said none of that. I had to get my little water sprayer. <laughs> All right. So we've got... Oh, boy. So they're not... It doesn't look like they're talking. If they are, it's indirectly. And it could be um, online messages to you as well or something. It's indirect, either communication with friends, family, or quite possibly email, you know, online, that sort of thing. Um, I, I don't think they're comfortable talking to you because I think they're hurt, they're grieving, and they're in love with you. They see you as a committed soulmate, um, a, a partner. They see you to some degree. The, the thing is, though, is this somebody that's just feeling guilty? Is that what this is? Is this them feeling guilty? Did they do this and they feel guilty? What's this Seven of Swords about? This is Seven of Swords. What did I say? What did I say about that? Seven of Swords. Uh, is this, Leo, this could be somebody that you are involved with and don't get mad. It's a possibility. A third party situation and... It, are they coming to you wanting to tell you that they want to make it work after the cheating or they want to make it work with you even though there's cheating? Are they the person that someone is involved in this person's like, I want it to work out between us and the other person's like, hey, I'm involved with somebody. Oh my goodness. What's this page of cups about? We got the page of, yeah, this page of cups about. Yeah, look at that, two of cups. Wow. They, I don't think this is someone that wants to tell you they're in love with somebody else. I think they're feeling in love with you. This is completely unexpected. This is two of cups. We got the two of cups twice here. That just flew out. What's the two of cups about? What's this hermit about? That's the four of pentacles right there. Someone's in lockdown mode. Someone, what's the hermit about? The strength card about we got the knight of cups there for the hermit what's his strength card about that could be you leo strength card right there what's his strength card about what's his six of cups i think they need to hear that you still care and that you're going to do the right thing regarding this deception, this betrayal. Maybe they want some assurance that this wasn't all wishful thinking on their part, that it, they weren't deceived, they weren't lied to, or that if they were, it's on the men, things are going to be worked out. Um, they, I think they want to hear compassion. I think they want to hear that you still care, that you still regard the 
connection, this soulmate connection. We got the lovers, we got the six of cups, we got the two of cups twice. I mean, this is somebody who is very much still into the relationship and I think they feel some sort of betrayal has been done or some sort of deception. We got the three of swords and the, the moon here um, and the seven of swords, speaking of deception. And I think they want you to know, but they don't feel like they can tell you. I thought this was a page of swords, holy cow, uh, that they very much feel uh, for you love. They feel this soulmate connection. They feel this connected, committed partnership, but they're not sure how they, that you two can come back from this betrayal. Either they committed or you committed. Somebody committed a betrayal. And they're not sure how to come back from it. They're not sure what to do. I think they want, I think they're, wanting to do some soul searching about their emotions. I think they're wanting to, um, it's almost like they want to fix it. They want to make it better, but I think they also feel like they need to know that it's whatever has happened, it's been resolved and that there's, there can be trust rebuilt. So this is all about a relationship going through a third party situation, I think, or some sort of uh, betrayal or deception, questionable deception. If it hasn't happened, someone's really thinking that there has been some kind of deception. It happened very quickly. Maybe they think about moving on. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're thinking about moving away. Maybe they're not. It's like they're going back and forth. Their emotions are all over the place. What's this fool about for Leo? What's this fool about? Could be dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male or female, um, Pisces, Cancer, Again, with Scorpio, could be Virgo, Aries. I mean, we've got a mixed bag here. Got the death card. Oh, jeez. What else for this fool? Wow. Ouch. All right. We've got... Um, I feel like this is being set adrift or a brand new beginning. Like, I think somebody has been cut off. And this is a relationship where people are going through major changes. Coming out the other side, obviously, but... Sometimes this is about staying stuck and this is a slow internal process. This is the dying of emotions, giving way to new emotions, but it's, it can be very painful. This is an internal process. Um, we've got the emperor here. This is all about maybe this is death of a relationship where they thought they really fit with someone that all was right with the world. This was their person. They could trust them. They looked up to them. They admired them. Um, Perhaps this is someone thinking about a new beginning and wanting to talk to somebody in authority about that and dealing with these grieving emotions. But this is all about a relationship that has ended or someone's feelings about a relationship that has ended and perhaps somebody's trying to regain some a sense of control, a sense of uh, balance in their life again after all of this has happened. And I think there, this person is still grieving and looking to you to be able to come back and make things right. If you have moved on, they have not. They still feel very strongly about you. Um, I just, I don't think they know how they can, how to move past this deception or betrayal or what they see as a deception or betrayal. And they're looking to you to make the first move or to do the right thing. What else for Leo? Maybe this is about you forgiving them if they did it. I mean, this is... This is about waiting, but the caution is waiting too long uh, for that perfect, that sign, that whatever situation, because this is someone that's leisurely enjoying um, picking the right time or picking out, some, you know what I mean? Like waiting for that perfect time, that per perfect situation. The caution is they'll be careful you don't miss other opportunities or that you haven't missed it already, that, that it, this is all someone can give and you're still holding out. And it's like, you know what, this is, this is all that that situation can offer. Are you sure you still want it? Compromise. All right. That could have something to do with this right here. Waiting too long for something to be the ultimate or what, what would be the ultimate. And it's like, you know what? It's never going to be perfect. But you two can work together for a compromise. And I think that's also to some degree speaks about this. There's a lot of uncertainty about what's happened and also about the future, the direction of this relationship. Indeed, it has either ended or there's been a major shift. <laughs> um, but if, if there is going to be progress or movement forward in the same relationship, if you still fit, this is all about, I think it might speak to you. Well, it could be the other person compromising though. 
instead of holding out for, okay, now you got to do this or no, it has to be this way. Or I just, you know, maybe it's that, you know what? I'm sorry. I just, there's, it's been the death of my trust for you. And I want a new beginning. I don't want this. I want a clean slate. I can't with you anymore. I don't trust you. I can't compromise. I don't trust you. I keep holding out for something to be a certain way. And it's never going to be that way, is it? And I need to accept that and I need to move on. So if this is about compromise, maybe it's not possible. Maybe, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's, all right, what else for you? Lots of different scenarios here because this is general, but I think we can, you know, we got this. <laughs> this is all about someone still being very much in love and trying to deal with the betrayal or some deception in a relationship. Leo. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. All right, what else for Leo? I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Fair enough. The real trick is in movement forward or now what's to become of that, you know? Okay. What else for Leo? Can I get a snapshot, please, for Leo? Leo. The, okay, so this is definitely involving a significant other, um, quite possibly when a, the man or lady shows up, this is just referencing the person's significant other or that somebody features very prominent right now for them. And in this case, it would be, um, the other person could be man or woman. This simply is the significant other. And so we've got, this is all about this stable relationship that now has had some unsettling, unexpected information or occurrence in the relationship and dealing with the fallout of that and yes that is where i'm going to leave it because i'll talk around and around won't i <laughs> um i hope you are able to work this out leo um that's all i'm gonna say shutting up because i'll go around and around and get on my soapbox you know how it is i wish you luck with this and i hope to see you in the next reading you take care